Well guys, here we are again. NAM test. Suresh. How are you feeling Suresh today? Feeling good, yes. Uh, are you sure? Yes, feeling confident and good. Yeah. Not nervous at all? No, no, no. <laughs> Not in the least, of course. Anyway guys, so we're going to see how Suresh gets on. This is the 10 a.m. test. Weather's a bit breezy and a bit cloudy. I don't really anticipate any rain, but uh, it could be sudden bursts of rain, so we'll deal with that. Uh, Suresh, of course, uh, it's going on his own. So basically, guys, what I want you to do is uh, there's not enough lot of people subscribing to the channel, and even though I'm putting these videos out, so please like and subscribe if these, if these uh, videos are helpful to you. Sorry about the wind, and we'll just get right into it, and we'll see how uh, Suresh gets on in his test. Okay, let's go. So just up here, uh, Suresh has just been asked to pull up on the left and on this occasion was told to disregard the driveways and that means guys that you can stop on a driveway on this occasion on the examiner's instructions. End of the road we've been instructed to turn left, you'll see at the end of the road, uh, like most roads, um, check for any changes in speed. So on the right hand side you'll see the 30 sign just there and it's very important that you get a good position on the left hand side. Now make sure guys that you look left when uh, merging to the left and then just frequently check to the right to see if anything's coming. So hazard up there on the left you can see someone's working outside their car so make sure you get good mirror checks early uh, before you pass these parked cars. So we've just arrived in Juniper Green, uh, of course it's an active area guys, shopping, pedestrians etc, pedestrian crossings and of course hazards. So we can see that Suresh has um, reacted really well to the parked cars on the left hand side. They wasn't sure there was enough room and so held back. Remember a good mirror check, a wee blitz check in the blind spot for anything crossing the road and moving off again. So just at this point Suresh was asked to find a safe place on the left to pull up and again just asked to move off when ready. Okay guys, so we're going down Gillespie Road, heading towards Collington, and we're going to come up against this sign, 
Uh, there's a couple of signs, this one on the bend on the right, reducing speed now, and of course the 20 zone. So see if you can see these signs, uh, we're now running at normal speed. So as we corner around the viaduct and we're coming into Collington Village, the road's very kind here. You can see the road markings and the road signs up high and uh, giving you plenty of information here, guys. Uh, remember, the Collington Village itself uh, can be a bit tight. There's a lot of uh, meeting situations, uh, road narrowing, and uh, of course, uh, don't hesitate to hold back and watch your clearance from parked cars. Situation. You can see Suresh is holding back well and uh, doesn't have the observations to overtake so he's taking it easy, he's looking out and uh, he does very well. Now we've got the cyclists ahead of us here. So again, uh, as you'll see, Suresh does really well and gives the cyclists plenty of room uh, before overtaking and during the, the movement. That's where a lot of mistakes. You can see the road signs on the lampposts on the left and uh, you're distracted overtaking the cyclist and it's quite easy to miss uh, road signs and markings when you're distracted doing something. So Suresh has been instructed to take the next road on the right. And immediately as you can see Suresh spots the bin van coming down and holds back really well and gives enough room for the vehicle to pass through. And during this little distraction did you notice the speed of the new road? Rewind it back if you didn't. Now Suresh is just asked to pull up on the left and was given instructions that uh, for a short while he's going to be following uh, independent driving. So in this case today, the examiner switched on the uh, sat navigation system. Now remember guys, please do not follow the speed uh, restrictions on the sat navigation system because the GPS systems are not always up to date and you nothing relieves you from using your speedometer in front of you. guys sat nav has given instructions to cross the roundabout second exit in this case the va the examiner also gave verbal instructions to follow for city bypass but you notice on the sign that the second exit's on the right now Suresh is in the wrong position here to turn right in fact if you look to the right hand side now a vehicle has passed Suresh on the right hand side turning right so I'm a bit concerned about Suresh's position there 
and he's continued to follow the route to the right from that left position. So we'll just have to wait at the end and see how the examiner views this fault. So instructed at the roundabout to turn right, it'll be the third exit. So what we're going to be doing here guys, we're going up towards the travel lodge and where Suresh will be asked to do a bay parking. And so Suresh was asked to park in a forward direction in any bay that he likes. Now as you can see Suresh gets successfully in first time. But notice here that the examiner has asked Suresh to reverse back to get out and to follow the road around to the exit. Okay, uh, so there's another point of interest. Uh, we've been asked to turn right of the roundabout, uh, third exit. We're now going on to 30 mile an hour restriction. It's very important that you keep an eye on your route <coughs> and that when you exit on the third one, you need to keep well over to the right hand side because in this situation, the route requires you to follow the route ahead. And at this point, Suresh was instructed to leave the carriageway at the next exit on the left. And again guys, don't forget to use the counter markers, the three markers coming up, mirrors, two marker, signal, and after the one marker, look at the white line so that you can exit over the broken white lines and not cross any solid white line that might be on your left hand side. Sometimes the hard shoulder comes off with you. So at the end of the road we're instructed now to turn right. As soon as the Suresh turn right here, the hazard on the left. And uh, remember, guys, uh, good mirror checks, interior and right mirror, and signal if necessary. We're then instructed to take the first exit on the left at the roundabout. Remember, guys, that's you now back on 40 mile an hour job carriage with driving. Mr. Hill Road. And that 
advice to keep left ear and follow the route ahead. We're now on verbal instructions and directions from the examiner. And at the roundabout, we're turning left, first exit. This is Bankhead. So we're heading up guys uh, called the road and uh, we've been instructed at the junction to follow the road ahead and this is Calder Junction, second exit. Okay everyone, so uh, Calder Junction, remember you must keep well left to enter into the roundabout and you'll see the white dots on the bottom right corner there. You need to keep well left of them because that's the border of your lane. You're not allowed over these. Uh, uh, white lines as you can see that you would be entering the lane on the right so remember guys keep well left and a reminder for bus lanes that bus lanes are available between the hours of 9.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. now at this stage guys I'm not going to take you through each of the roundabouts that are ahead of us I'm hoping anybody that's anywhere near a driving test standard should be able to name these roundabouts that uh, we're passing on the route up to the Warsaw Test Centre they're very common and uh, it's very important that you get to know your route so without my help I'm hoping uh, that you could all name each of these roundabouts And it's extremely important guys that you pay attention to the speed restriction ahead. You must not pass the 20 mile an hour signs any faster than 20. So guys, um, we'll just be taking a left here and pulling up on the right. Uh, when you stop, the examiner will then tell you to switch off the engine and that will be the end of the test and your instructor will then be invited to come over and uh, listen in to the feedback. Okay guys, I I've just uh, stuck the video on and uh, Suresh and I have just arrived back um, just after the test and unfortunately I have to say that uh, yeah, Suresh tripped up and I'll need to rewind it back to you because you, mm, we had to look at it ourselves on the video. Uh, there was just one serious fault. You had to mark it as a serious fault because there's another car involved. However, uh, Suresh didn't really make any other faults. Just two minor faults he made uh, on the whole drive. In other words, the whole drive was excellent. 
but it was just the fact that another vehicle got involved with a situation there. Uh, now then, it happened at the roundabout at uh, Redford, turning right for City Bypass. Now, the sat navigation uh, gave uh, Suresh the instruction is to cross the roundabout second exit. Now, as you and I would think of a roundabout in the back of our head, you think one, two, which would be ahead, and three on the right. But this is the, th the thing. You've got to look at the sign approaching. In this situation, the second exit was on the right. In fact, the examiner even highlighted to Suresh, follow the sign for city bypass. And it was clearly stated on the right, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. However, there was something that we're trying to figure out. <laughs> Stopping Suresh from checking his right mirror, signalling right. Suresh stayed left, thinking he was second exit, maybe. And we're just trying to figure that out while we speak. Mm -hmm. However, uh, yeah, Suresh was on the left-hand side with no signal. Now you'll see in the video that the... And I'll highlight it. In fact, I'll just... Let's just have a look at it now, and I'll put it on the video now, and I'll do a talk over mm -hmm. while I'm doing it. So uh, we'll do that now. Yes. Oh. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So at the moment, we've been instructed to follow the road ahead and uh, cross the roundabout second exit. And the examiner did say uh, follow the route for city bypass. Now you'll see on the sign, uh, the route ahead is the, actually the first exit. And uh, the route to the city bypass is to the right second exit. So at this point, uh, Suresh should have checked his interior and right mirror signal right and kept right. Uh, however, uh, Suresh has taken the, the wrong side, so there is no route to the right from this side of the roundabout. And you can see, like I was, I was telling you in the video, that car on the right is turning right, and Suresh uh, decided to change his route here. However, he had no signal right either, and this is kind of added to the problem. Anyway, let's have a look at the rear of this. We can have a look at the rear cam uh, under the same situation. So the vehicle that's behind us here is turning right for City Bypass. The same route as where Suresh has been instructed to go. And uh, you'll see that as we're approaching, uh, this vehicle now is moving over to the right. And uh, of course, I think the examiner <laughs> mentioned that the lady was looking over, getting a bit confused as to where we were going. And then Suresh has swung right round and oh, without any signals. However, the annoying thing is if Suresh had continued straight ahead, he would have been fine and the examiner would have managed to get him back on route just by giving verbal instructions. So, anyway, don't worry about that. Um, these things can happen. And uh, sometimes when we're nervous and uh, we're not usually always 100% attentive so we have to take that on the chin but uh, the examiner complimented Suresh on his drive uh, there was only a couple of minor faults uh, I, he didn't even actually mention them but we'll, we'll get them uh, through the email and uh, we'll wish Suresh all the best on the next test so he's going to get the test next time anything you'd like to add? No, I think uh, you've been very helpful. Uh, well, well of course. Things. We'll talk yes. about that when you pass. Yes. Yes. No, 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 I mean to say, I have to say that actually because I didn't take my much minder because of uh, David is here uh, helping me, getting me throughout uh, the, the, the We got a quick test, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I, I suppose I was there 100% happy mm. that the fact that the test was only on two days of notice, but that's not a problem. I managed to arrange my diary and we got Suresh through it. And Suresh basically proved it is well worthy of the test. So we're going to look forward to the next one anyway. Okay, yeah. so thank you. Okay, I'm lucky for today. Yes. Never mind. Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's all part of the life. Really. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes.